Hey everyone, Sophia here from My Great Challenger. Welcome back to my channel and the kitchen. I'm still working in the kitchen, y'all. It's taking me quite some time, but that's exactly how I want to do it this year. I am spending 2023 decluttering my house, every room, every space, every nook, every cranny, all of it. I don't care how long it's going to take me, I'm just doing it and I'm documenting the entire process just for you to motivate you and to inspire you to look around your house and start decluttering. Come on, you know we've accumulated way too much stuff. I know I have, I'm guilty of it. And sometimes we keep stuff just for the sake of it, but when you really think about it, you haven't used it in years, or you never really liked it, or it's broken, it's shabby, it could be replaced, you don't like it anymore, whatever reason, those things have to go. Now, the issue with decluttering is that there's a lot of pressure to go towards this minimalistic lifestyle. And I say it again, this is something that I've discussed on my Instagram before, minimalism is not for everyone. If you have been a cluttered and disorganized person your entire life, you can aspire to make a lot of changes, but are you really going to be able to entirely change your core personality? Because this is just foreign concept to you to have nothing on surfaces and maybe a vase with a twig and just two pillows on the bed. It's not for everyone. So don't try to emulate something you are not. I'm just trying to improve who I am already. Just improve just progress, that's it. I don't try to be somebody I'm not. I don't try to completely change my lifestyle. I don't try to completely change my house and my environment. I just want what I have now, only better. you're going to do decluttering sessions and you're going to be amazed at the amount of stuff you're able to either trash, donate, give, or sell. Sometimes you're going to do a decluttering session and there's barely going to be anything, but the time was not wasted. You've reassessed your space or your environment, your little zone, whatever you're working on, and maybe you didn't declutter, but you move things out of the way, you put them where they belong and you clean the area. So no matter what, progress is being made. At least you addressed an area, you looked at it, you did something about it. So don't despair if this is your first time decluttering and you're doing this because I'm inspiring you, you find that you really don't have a lot to declutter. That's okay, I'm not putting any pressure on anyone to declutter. If you wanna keep your stuff, keep your stuff, okay? So, what am I doing in the kitchen today? I have um, a few cupboards that still need to be done, but the one thing in particular I want to tackle is the top of the cabinets and the cupboards. I, you know, that space, we put stuff in there and then we forget it even exists. Once in a while we reach for one, we gotta clean it out because it's covered in grease and in my case, dog hair, pet hair, dirt, dust, you name it. So, I'm gonna go through the whole area today and I'm going to really assess what I have. If I have a space for it, other than on top of the cabinet, I will put it in that space. If I don't, and I don't really wanna keep it, it's gotta go. So today I'm working on the left side of the stove. Um, I have this drawer here that I need to address and I have this cupboard here that I need to to address. So now the one at the bottom here is empty for now because uh, I had made a soup yesterday so my um, regular pressure cooker is there and then my cast iron enamel cast iron pot um, is in the wash so we're gonna have to wait for that to be clean but I do have to address this. This is just ridiculous. All right? I just yeah we gotta address this. In here, I don't have anything to do because this is pantry. In here, there's nothing to do. Um, there's really not much. This is where I keep my pharmacy and, you know, paper plates and 
solo cups, stuff like that. Let me show you. Uh, you see, there's really not a lot in here. Maybe I'll dress it. All right. Um, this one here is where we keep all the paper towels, so I don't need to address it. But I do have something on top there. And when you look at the top of the cabinets here, uh, the stuff here, these are the pizza, uh, whatever you call them, big wooden thing, paddles. I have more stuff here. I'm sure there's some you can't see. If I go like that, maybe you will. All right, and there's more stuff here. And I have stuff up there and all here and all of that has to be addressed. If you've been watching the channel for a while, you know that I have a pot rack in the kitchen. Um, it's pretty much towards the windows and we absolutely love it. The majority of our pots and pans are hanging pretty much from the ceiling, but we also have a shelf on top of it and that allows us to put all of the really, really big pots because uh, they don't fit in any cabinet. I really don't have a lot of space in this kitchen or a lot of cabinet space to allow me to put um, all my pots and pans. This kitchen only has two trolley um, drawer thing, one here and one on the other side of the stove. So the one on this side has my regular pressure cooker and my big enamel cast iron thing uh, because they're heavy, so that's practical. And then on the other side, I have the onions and potatoes. You saw that in the previous videos and now I have my cast iron on the other trolley. But here, it's kind of like the stuff that we don't really have room for it or didn't really think about where to put it. So let me pull this out. And I just spoke to Scott about it. There's no reason why we keep this here. We've always kept it here. This is the uh, Teflon that we use to make omelets. I could hang that, I have the hooks. So that's one thing I am not decluttering, but I am giving it a home. This, this is the large, I know it's busted, but you know what, it's loved. Um, this is the lid that goes on multi pots. We use that a lot, but that can stay here. All right, uh, this is one of those pot holders that's supposed to be in this drawer but very obviously it fell from the back of the drawer because there's too much stuff in here. <laughs> We're gonna have to address that. Um, an extra lid that I'm not sure which pot it belongs to. I think it's a pot that I let go of a long time ago. That can go, I don't use it. I mean, if I already have a lid on the pot and that's the only lid that fits that pot and I have a double, why do I need it? <laughs> I can't put two lids on one pot. I know some people would say, well, if it ever breaks, um, sometimes you just gotta like not think about the what ifs. Um, here's another one that's dirty. Um, that's gonna be hanging. It's a crepe um, pan. So I gotta clean it, but I'm gonna also hang it because I don't need it in here. This thing here, oh, this is so old. <laughs> this is the infamous Ikea splatter uh, thing. And it gets in the wash, we put it in the wash, you know. Um, it's been burned a couple of times, so this is great. So this I have to clean obviously all right next oh this sorry looking um pan i'm gonna clean it again and it needs to be hanging because i have just right now i'm looking at it i got three empty hooks all right this thing here you know what this is this is the roaster i don't need it here I can put it on that rack and that's what I'm going to do. So I'm taking this out and I'm going to put it on the rack. So now I've emptied this and technically <laughs> if I put everything on the hook, the only things that I need in here are those two. I made a lot of um, space. What could I put in here? I have to think about it, but right now I have some cleaning to do.
So here's the rack I was telling you about that's in my kitchen and this thing has been a lifesaver and a space saver and I have room over there to put this guy and I just wrapped it in um, whatever you call it the uh, cellophane uh, glad plastic wrap because it's gonna be up there until Thanksgiving I only use it for the turkey rarely do I use it for anything else so it's gonna go up there and it's going to be protected so on Thanksgiving when I prepare my turkey in 2023 I don't have to spend a half an hour decreasing it okay while I'm up here I'm going to do an assessment uh, this thing here I actually really like it and I probably would use it more if it wasn't all the way on top here I'm gonna bring it down to that cabinet. It's a Korean rice cooker. I love it. But I don't use it because I put it all the way up there. So I forgot. And then this guy here can go all the way on top. Perfect. So now this guy can go right here. Actually, I can double it. There we go. And then this guy can go right here. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put it right here. Here we go. You know, I saw an article online the other day. It was uh, uh, 12 items in your kitchen that make it look outdated. <laughs> and one of them was the hanging pot racks. And I had to laugh at it because if you go to any kitchen, like real kitchen in a restaurant, or the majority of the pots are hanging. <laughs> There's a reason why chefs do that. One, um, it's easier. You can grab them faster. When you when you have to cook, um, you know, super fast, six, seven things at a time, you ain't got time to go pull out three pots to get the one at the bottom. All right? You just grab the pot you want. Uh, granted, they have sous chef for that. but. That's not the point. Kitchens have been doing that, professional kitchens have been doing that for a long time. I'm not claiming to be a professional, I'm just telling this works for us. <laughs> if you want a hanging pot rack, get a hanging pot rack, okay? Are they aesthetically pleasing? Of course not, it's pots. Unless you have like the copper clad stuff, like the really, really nice pots. Uh, but ours, I just, listen, I just want to grab a pot and cook, okay? I don't care, it's hanging from the ceiling, really. Who are these people telling us what we can and cannot have in our home? <laughs> anyway, I was the idiot who clicked on it and read it. Um, all right, so, so far, I'm letting go of this one that's really, it's gotta go. I don't even know what brand it is. I think I got it at the thrift store. Let me see, which one is that? You can get those at home goods uh, really easily. It doesn't even have a brand name on it. Who knows? Anyway, it's gotta go. So I'm letting go of that. And then this one, I gotta wash. no idea what this is clearly never used it what's this do you know what this is that looks like something to scrape off oh you know what I might be able to use it for my cast iron grill let me wash this this trash
If you don't get to declutter today, but you do manage to clean the inside of your cabinet, you're ahead, you're winning. is done so this can go right here uh, I gotta put it sideways all right so it doesn't leave much room over here but since I emptied this I can now put my um, pressure cooker I can leave this here and I'll put my pressure cooker and my um, rice coin thing in here and it would be super cool if this one would fit right here but I doubt nope all right so it's gotta go in here and then I'll put the pressure cooker here this uh, go sideways right here and I am done that's it that's it Wow lots of empty space you know it's a good feeling and I know it's a little things and it's not a lot but it's a good feeling not only is it clean but now I got the space and I don't have to have this one like sideways like it used to because it wouldn't fit now it has its own uh, space this is great all right let's do the drawer now let's see what kind of nonsense we're gonna find in here all right obviously these I keep um, I bought them for Thanksgiving this year to replace my old ones so we're gonna keep those this one is still good I'm gonna keep it these we actually like um, so we're gonna keep them but they take less room like this okay and then we got some stuff here uh, this is to grab the oven thing you know the rack this doesn't have to be here I can put it in one of those skinny drawers this is a salad thing um, donate this is part of a mortar I don't have the mortar anymore but I have this so that can go okay making progress uh, this is the garlic peeler thing we do use that this thing here we use this thing here we use but it doesn't have to be here it can go in one of the drawers uh, the dough thing for Scott he uses it this we use it this <laughs> um i really don't buy nuts i don't need this this we use this is good need to wash okay i'm not even gonna ask Uh, what's this that's for canning I believe yes not sure I think it's for canning let me not throw that away you never know okay look at this I promise gross in every video so here you go all right that's much better here we go Alright, prepare to be horrified. I am climbing 
Let's see what we can find in here. Ugh. Oh, it's not too bad. Okay, so I have another cake platter. I have this platter here. I forgot about it. I have this and this stuff here. All right, monkey. Give me my stuff. I gotta go through it. Thank you. Thank you. Is that it? Anything else? That's it. Thank there's, you. There's a corningware on this, on that other one. On which one? The the, the, uh, the big thing. Yeah. yeah, I'll get to that later. Thank you. <sighs> this pottery thing. You know, I think this was part like of the. Uh, I found it on the street. I think it was part of the. Um, like a cheese tray that somebody bought or was gifted and they ended up getting rid of this. I mean, it's supposedly shiny, but you know, obviously, all greasy. Um, I can't really sell it because it's got like a damage right here. I can't really put it on the Facebook marketplace. I'm just going to donate it, but I got to wash it first. Okay. The... Uh, butterfly um, gold it has to get washed it's disgusting I have another size downstairs I was supposed to sell them but I was waiting to find the other two that are missing to make a whole um, you know package of four of them and I tell you what I think I'm just gonna sell them individually so that's gotta get washed I'm gonna bring in downstairs and I'll put it on Etsy this has to go in the cupboard. I'm just going to donate that. So this and that is donate. All right, now I have two of these. I have the large one and I have one that's a little bit smaller. What are the odds that I'm going to make two cakes that require two cake platter? Probably none. So, the choice is I either keep the large one or I keep the medium one. Um, I'm going to keep this one. And then this one is donate. This is one of the platters that go with my um, blue onion. I can put it in the dining room. So I got to wash these and then figure out where I'm going to put that cake. So, I don't know if you remember, but I bought this at um oh i'm not even in the front yeah i am i bought this at um the world market i thought it was really cute i wanted it um i couldn't buy the large one because it was too expensive and then lo and behold a couple of weeks later i go to goodwill and i found the large one i was just like oh they're so cool they've been there ever since um donate don't need them okay this thing here This is technically, it's not really a spice of life. It is kind of a spice of life. Um, I can't remember if I found it on the street. I think I did. Or if I bought it at the thrift store, but I don't use it. And I don't really care for the design is not the exact same one. So that's done. Okay, what else I got on here? This is a bunch of screws. That needs to go downstairs. Um, we need them for uh, a plug. Okay. These guys, they were sent to me. <laughs> they make me happy. They were sent to me by um, Juanita. They are the cutest. Look at these things. And they're cute. Okay. I'm keeping them. They need to be washed. They're going to go in the curio cabinet. That makes more sense. These soda stream. These are the last two. Um, we don't use the syrups anymore. Um, 
one it costs money and then two we kind of like the plain salsa water with the soda stream but these I think are the leftovers April 23 8 29 22 this is expired so that can go and there's not much left here that's gonna go in the fridge and then this is the remote for the TV that's attached to that TV over here. I don't need to keep them outside. I have to figure out where I'm gonna put them. Uh, these shelves need to be cleaned. This is the last thing I have on top of the cabinets. I'll be honest, I washed it. <laughs> It was really gross. Um, but anyway, so this is a true spice of life. It says Le Serveur and it's a Lazy Susan condiment tray. And I found it at Goodwill years and years ago. Uh, of course, you know, it's glass. And at the time it only had one lid, uh, no spoon. So I remove all the lids, I let them go. I'm still looking for the lids and the spoon as replacement. Once in a while, I go on Etsy <laughs> or eBay to see if I find them and I'm yet to find them, but clearly I'm not letting go of this. Um, this is so cool. I actually was thinking about putting it um, somewhere in the kitchen, but then I was thinking, well, where am I gonna put in it? Um, but it's just so cool. I love it. It was just like regular plastic lid. So what I think I might do is, because they did different ones, that company, I may go online and buy another one um, that's like a totally different design, um, that's, you know, inexpensive, just for the lids. Um, that's what I may do. So anyway, I'm going to make it fit on my corningware shelf. Well, if I acquire one more piece of corningware, I'm going to have to get another shelf. <laughs> Uh, I have to figure out another contraption uh, but yeah by the way if you're new welcome and I collect Spice of Life Corningware I do okay so let's recap what I did today um, there was a lot of washing that's for sure um, I decluttered this and reorganized it and washed it I decluttered this and reorganized it and washed it. I just have to put my um, regular pressure cooker right here in front of the uh, rice cooker. I emptied out everything that was on top of the cabinets. I emptied out everything that was on top of this cabinet, including all the shelves and the shelves were washed. This is trash. Um, this almost empty and expired bottle this thing I don't use uh, this thing right here and then the nutcracker and then all of this here is donate um, and has been washed as well because I'm not donating greasy stuff um, that's just not right <laughs> so I have a um, what do you call those slow cooker those two tins this thing here the cake plate the cake pan the lid because you never know somebody may need an extra lid and those um, salad forks serving forks this is everything I'm letting go of today I say job well done and this will conclude the declutter in my kitchen um, I'm not sure where I'm gonna go next I might do the dining room who knows but this is a good feeling um the next time you will see me though because I'm not done <laughs> I said I was going to do deep clean. So the next time you'll see me uh, in the kitchen, I will be cleaning the cabinets, the outside of them. They are really, really gross. In particular, the ones above the stove, they have a lot of um, grease on them. That's something that I kind of do more routinely than anything else, because uh, I just don't like sticky cabinets. And then, um, I don't know, I haven't done it in, couple of months so that needs to be done and then I will do the grout um, I bought the rejuvenate grout cleaner so we'll see how that works and this time around as opposed to the last time I did my grout I will seal it 
so that way it doesn't go back to black because um, yeah I know it looks black but it's really beige <laughs> Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the series. Um, this is not the last episode. As I said, I'm going to do the whole house. Every little space in the house is going to be taken care of and decluttered. I'm doing that for the whole year. I don't know how long it's going to take me. I may take breaks in between, fair warning. I have all the content that I want to share, not just decluttering and cleaning. Um, but yeah, this is basically what I'm planning on doing for 2023. And really my goal is not just to have um, a breathing house and a more functional house. It's also to inspire you in doing the same and spending 2023 to have a space and an environment in your home that you actually enjoy. Now, granted, I enjoyed my kitchen before I decluttered everything, but it's always a good thing to do. Clearly those items are not being used. Let have somebody else have them if they want them. They served me for the time being that I had them. It was cute to look at them. It was good to have them. I no longer use them. Pass it along. And that would be it. So, um, thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget to share it if you really liked it. Let everybody know about this series. Subscribe right in the corner if you're brand new so that way you don't miss another video. And then you can find me on Facebook and Instagram at my great challenge my patreon if you want to support uh, my channel and my family and get a more intimate look into my personal life is patreon.com slash my great challenge and then in the links down below you'll find two etsy shops one is my frenchie and tabby for vintage finds and the other is channel merch my great challenge gift i will talk to you later thank you for watching bye